At Lux Lifestyle Forum, it's time to have a discussion with our star guests. Now our guest is Husna Tara Prakas, owner and managing director of Glenberg Tea Estate and Boutique Hotel Darjeeling. Our moderator is Karen Anand, food and travel writer and I mean I'm so privileged to have three women who are on top of their uh, professions and fields and also three close friends. Um, and I think we'll start off with Husna because hospitality is something that um, I'm close to and I've been involved with. Now I'd like to know from you, um, of course you all know Husna runs the fabulous uh, Glenburn Penthouse and Glenburn Tea Estates. When you opened, you talked to me about this before, that the Tea Estates were kind of, you know, already running and doing really well. Um, tell me a little bit about, I think it's very brave what you've done and, and very stunning. When you started Glenburn Penthouse here on Russell Street in a building that looks like any other building and you've created magic on the eighth and ninth floors, what was in your mind? Thank you, Karen. It's uh, lovely to be here and very interesting to hear the, the corporate men talk before us about uh, this bridge between technology and real experiences because um, uh, I was chatting at the Lemon Penthouse um, over a cup of tea with a tech Arab from California a couple of months ago and we were talking about AI and, and you know, job being replaced and he's in the, in the Hollywood film industry and he said that he was even using AI to write some of his scripts but in a, in a very creative way. Very scary. Yeah, editing and, and, you know, and shortening times and things like that. And I said, so what's that, uh, what does that mean for the future? And he said, well, I can tell you one thing. The one thing that AI will not replace is the sort of feeling I'm getting right now, sitting in this beautiful space, having a cup of tea with you, having a conversation, um, and the aesthetics and the wellness that comes out of that. And I wasn't expecting him to say that. <laughs> it was very, it was very inspiring because well, we often sort of worry about these things disappearing in our lives, but I think um, luxury hospitality really has been uh, redefining us. Um, you know, Years. Um, my journey started 23 years ago, and um, if you don't mind, I'll just start with the tea estate because the pet house came later as a sort of, um, you know, a continuation of that very organic story. I'm a science teacher by profession. I had no ambition to get into hospitality, but I fell in love with the tea plaza in love with this beautiful estate, and everyone said, oh, you should do something with this. Literally, that's what it was. And we started with a four-room um, old planter's bungalow. Um, a very creative lady that I work with, Broadway And within two years of us literally camping out there, repainting walls, fishing out old cabinets and old fans and chairs for parts of the old tea estate, and recreating this grand life of a tea planter in these four bedrooms, we had some journalists who went to visit us from um, the UK and America. And they put us on to the Tatler Guide to the Best 101 Hotels in the World. Now, I almost fell off my chair when they told me that. Because I said, we're a four-room hotel on an obscure tier state that you think, why would, why would you choose us? And, he's, and they said this, this was in 2005. They said, this is what the world wants. Um, and one of them said, I've just flown in from Florida, where I was staying at a hotel that was charging $1,000 a night. And that was OK. But this is real luxury. It was the privacy, it was the authenticity, it was the attention to detail, it was the people. And every single person who works at Denver at the hotel, 60 of them look after the 16 guests, because you only have eight, eight nine rooms. Um, that's what they define as luxury. So it was a real turning point for me, and that's when we decided to continue the journey. We added another four room, and then we moved to the experience to Calcutta through tours, and eventually that led to the Lemon Pentas, because people asked for it. So the world is screaming out for that fine attention to detail in the luxury of Italia experience. And I think that's really the way ahead. But it's something that just came to us. And we just ran with it because it was it was what so very much did nothing to do with technology we've heard before. It's all about personalization. Personalization, authenticity, that fine attention to detail, and people, that connection with people. People love the interaction with our staff and the gentleness and the elegance of the experience that they bring. And that's what they define as luxury when they come to us. So we can able to position ourselves because this word is bespoke, which is a little bit trending, but uh, again, it's bespoke. It's, it's experiences which are very 
uh, unique and authentic. And very authentic, yeah. yeah. We're, we're not, we haven't tried to change them. We have tried to bring in hospitality people who are supposed to tell us how to run things. It's the innate hospitality that comes from the Nepali community that live there and have sort of um, imbibed those genteel traditions.